Hey, what's going on out there? Um, a lot of these videos are made out of order and you don't know which order I made them in. You could check, but you're not going to. And I've watched about 17 videos. As of me recording this, Eam has already won. He won like a day or two ago as of recording this. Um, but I, d I never got a run to the Bonnie Raitt cover. And I'm speaking on behalf of him winning. He's delightful, he's amazing, he should have won. But something that's making me like think now is the way the machine works. And there is a machine that works. Of course, talent is talent, but there's a machine going on. So when you have someone who's charismatic and amazing, like Ian Tongi, you have people like American Idol that are getting lots of views. You got people like me who are making videos watching him. And so we're all kind of riding on the coattails of his greatness. And the question is, is now that he's won, will there be an infrastructure in place to let him thrive? That's what I'm thinking about, like right now. I'm thinking like, this dude's amazing. But typically when it comes to TV or anything that's like a pop culture trend, something that blows up, everyone milks it, including myself, right? Including myself. I'm, I'm that same type of person. Like, I'm like, well, I like him. If you didn't like him, I would just listen to him. But since you like him, I'm gonna listen to him and do a reaction to it. So like now that he's won, I just really hope that there is a, there's an infrastructure in place to let this young man thrive because people do love him. The world's not easy, man, it's not easy. So I hope like, I don't know, I just hope, I just hope like his life works out for him. He's been through enough but let's check out uh, I Can't Make You Love Me. I do know this song. I haven't heard it in probably 20 years, but I definitely know this song. I'm excited to see what he does with it. Also, Bonnie Raitt, shout out. If you don't know Bonnie Raitt, um, amazing guitarist playing slide. She's probably the only female slide player I know of that is super, super duper, duper, duper famous. Let's get ready. Open minds and hearts. Let's Let's check this out. He's going to kill it. He kills everything. Let's go. Uh, before we start, I hope you're doing good. Nothing else to say. Just I hope you're doing I hope you're doing well. We don't have a lot of well days. So I hope you're doing well. Let's get it. To make sure that you can be the best you and confident up there today. I got to make sure to open my eyes this time. It's because every time I'm used to closing my eyes when I sing. So what do you see when you close your eyes? My dad. I can breathe. Aww. The main reason why I sing is because of my dad. You can guys get mad at me because maybe you don't know me or whatever. Uh, I also do that a lot, although I on it to be honest, in the last since the pandemic, I've not really performed live. Um, and I'm thinking something different. Obviously, I've not lost my father, and hopefully, I won't lose him for a long time. Um, you think if you're not someone that goes on stage, you think it would be just great to be on stage and looking at so many people. But when you're on stage and the lights are on and you're looking at that gigantic crowd, it's not nervousness. I mean, it could be, uh, but but for me, that you realize like this is not my, my whole life. This is not what I was playing to when I was playing in my room or playing with my buddies. Like, this is not what it looked like. And so I usually would close my eyes because what I see is not what actually make, made me want to make music. Sorry if you're in the crowd. Sorry. Like, it just, like, I'd rather be inside my eyelids than staring at y'all. He introduced me to music. Make me wish. And he bought me this guitar that I'm going to um, play today. Side. It means everything to me. Uh, my dad uh, passed away like a couple of months ago. Mm, sorry, buddy. Bro, just seeing you missing your dad. That's the just audition, sucks. man. Yeah. I really told you I see. My dad is always with me just because I sing and, and I hear his harmony in it, and it's, it's cool. If my dad was here, he would have been proud. Hopefully, he would have been proud. Be like home. When you auditioned the first time, 
beautiful yeah. song, beautiful voice. I can't make you love me if you don't. You've got such a powerful voice. But, you know, if you need to look at somebody's forehead, just let them know that you know they're there. <laughs> I, I think you're talking about an audience trick, which is um, it's nice to look in people's eyes, but then it gets weird because now you're on stage and you're staring at like one person. So when I was, I did plays and stuff. And sorry if this is boring, man. I'm just being honest with you. Sometimes honesty is boring. You could look like above the crowd. It's like maybe someone in the very back, like a sound guy or... Hell, it could be an exit sign. You could just be staring at an exit sign just so you're like, like here's where the crowd is. And you're just staring a, like, like a little bit above them. So it looks like you're looking at someone near them, but you're not... So like he's only like, like um, looking at a forehead. So I'm like not looking at your eyes because that's. But if you look at the forehead, it looks pretty close. Like I'm looking at you. I feel like already people are not gonna like this reaction. But that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Everything doesn't have to be great. Do you know what I mean? You gotta be comfortably be. Ems, Ems is teaching us it's okay to be yourself. And even though I don't have the charisma or the voice of Ian, I think let's be ourselves. Like, why not? When you're singing a song that like has so much feeling and passion, it's, it's hard to open your eyes while singing. So it's, it's gonna be a challenge. This is my chance to be something more. When I get up on the stage in Hollywood, I'm gonna be thinking about my family and my dad just to make him proud. Man, come on now. My name is now. Uh, Eom Tongi. I'm 18 years old, and uh, I'm going to be singing I Can't Make You Love Me by Bonnie Ray. Wow. <sighs> See, I already know how good he is. I've already seen 17 videos, but this is like way back. Let's go. Turn down the light, turn down the bed, turn down these voices inside my head, lay down with me and tell me no lies, just hold me close, it's so Don't good. Don't patronize Cause I can't make you love me if you don't God, perfect You can't make your heart feel Something you want Here in the dark In these final hours I will lay down my heart And I'll feel the power But you won't No, you won't Cause I can't make you love me if you don't If you don't like that dude, you need to fucking just leave. If you don't like him, just leave. Who will we discover next? Are we going to the comments? Who will we discover next? From the very first audition. Ah, I want to talk to y'all, but I can't, man. I cannot speak to y'all right now. <laughs>